So this is just your ordinary everyday alarm clock and it has a backlight when you push the snooze the screen will light up it's kind of hard to see at the moment but it's very dim here let me cover this and you can see yeah see you can't even see it on camera that's how dim it is so what we're going to do what i'm going to do is change the backlight out and actually make it a real backlight so you can actually see it the other thing is i'm going to invert the screen so this unit's days of running off a of battery are pretty much over because I'm going to rig it so that the backlight stays on all the time. So let's take these out. And we'll take this apart. I've already taken, obviously, as you can see, I've already taken the screws out. And let's see. So let's take these screws. All right, so here's the two. Let's take this whole assembly out. This is the back plane that the LCD sits on, and that's what lights up but these two LEDs. The problem is these LEDs aren't very bright. So I'm gonna take this off. This is the hardest part about this whole job is the polarizer filter is actually on top of this. And I know you can't even see it because it's so, it's so thin. It's basically a little piece of plastic that sits on top and it's glued. So you have to scrape it off, and it's electrostatic for my hand. So you have to basically peel it off. And the, it, it's very brittle, it rips very easily. And if you're gonna do this, you gotta be careful you don't cut yourself because it'll be going just fine and then it'll let loose. And you don't wanna rush doing this. Take your time. There it goes. Okay, see what I'm doing there? See how it's it's starting to get underneath. Now you'd be tempted at this point to just grab it and rip it off, but no, because it's too brittle. As soon as you do that, it'll just rip in pieces. And I'd like to save this if possible. And this glue is like crazy, crazy strong. Now I've you tried to use in the past, I've tried to use rubbing alcohol, tried soaking it. Nothing seems to really work. I don't know what this glue is uh, really strong. It's fairly impenetrable. If anybody has seen this or sees this and has any ideas to help, I'm all ears. God, I just want to grab that and rip it off. it just get really easy okay I just want to make sure that I'm not cut because sometimes what will happen is is the blade will actually start to cut into the filter and you don't want that you want it to separate And it's uh, important to take breaks <laughs> because your hand's going to cramp up. Sometimes you just need to take a breath. And I don't want to cut myself, so I'm going to try to do it this way. There we go. And it's off. Okay. Now, I, this is dirty. It's got a lot of glue residue. But notice, before it looked like this. 
we spin it upside down, it looks like that. It's black. So when the element inside of it gets energized, it will turn clear. So that way it'll show the backlight. Now, first thing is that I gotta get all this crap off of here. Rubber gloves do actually help remarkably well with this. Time for some rubbing alcohol. Yep, that works. So, now I'm going to wire these directly to the main input. Okay, so it seems like the way this works. Positive three volts run straight to this rail. The clock actually runs off of 1.5. So, and that's where this wire would go here because it's only running off of one battery. But for the three volts, both batteries, go straight to this LED. And it looks like it's running series. Series? Let's see, where's this at? No, it's running parallel. Because that goes to ground, and then that's going to ground. And there's the power, and that's going to here as well as here. So that's interesting. They're actually running them parallel with the same set of resistors. So what I'm going to do, or so what happens is, and what's interesting also, that goes down, and that runs the projector LED. So this is the transistor that opens, or I should say closes, but it's a gate and it supplies ground to here. So if I get rid of this transistor and just short these two out, it should be feeding a direct ground to the LEDs and they should stay on all the time. So let's try that out. By the way, the solder sucks. This is what happens when you don't pay good money for something. Sold on, I think it was Amazon, and it was really cheap, and I thought, oh, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, it doesn't, it just sticks to, uh, it doesn't flow very well. All right. So let's try this. Let's put the batteries back in and just see if they light up all the time. As they should. Yep, there we go. And it doesn't matter if you push this button or not because that's been canceled out. I wonder if does this stay on? Yep, this stays on too. And that depends on, you can see that. Probably not because it's so dim. 
but this switch now activates the projector and it's on all the time. So that's good. And we may have to play with the resistor values that are in there. But we're going to take these out. This is the ground over here. And I have no use for puke green LEDs. I don't like them. this way. Just right. And I did. Now, this is what they did. What they did was bend it straight out of the bottom of it. that fit. Nice. Very nice. Bring it up just a little bit.
Good. Oops. I'm gonna play with the height a little bit, but. All right, so. This is gonna be way too dark. You know what, why am I doing this? Let's just use the power supply. And we'll set this to three volts. One amp, yeah, that's good enough. You know, these batteries might just be bad. No, the batteries are good. I like that. Okay, so I searched high and low. I cannot find the power cord for this. I will find it, but I recently moved everything around in here and you know how that is. Sometimes uh, things that were laying out get put pushed aside, and but I'll find it. But in the meantime, I found uh, this cord, which I'll just hook up to the bench power supply. However, one thing I noticed was, and I never noticed this before, this cord, this, this uh, external power source, only powers the, the LED for the projector. If you look at the positive comes around, this is ground, and this is the positive. This comes around to here, which is a switch. And when it's in the upper position, it allows current to flow to here, which is the wire going to the LED in the projector. When it's off, power comes through here and it gets its power from the same source as these. So that's actually really interesting and, well, stupid. There's no 1.5 volt regulator in there. So short of putting a regulator in there, what I'm going to do is run this off of one battery for the clock. I mean, the current draw on that is so minimal, this battery will last 5, 10 years. And I'm not going to put two batteries in Excuse me, I'm not going to put two batteries in here. I'm going to run this line right off the main input. Or actually, maybe what I'll do is run it off of, since that's coming up there, I'll run it off the same power source as the projector. So, in the meantime, let me unplug this. Let's move that wire around now. I'll just be done with it. The only reason I'm not running this over the board is because there's buttons and everything else that go there for the display, so we're going to do it this way. And actually, I'm going to put this right through that hole. So these, these LEDs actually have a resistor here. So we don't have to worry about or throwing too much current at them. This, the projector LED does not, unless it's inside here, it's tied and that's what this is here. So I'm gonna get rid of this. run a bridge and try not to break that button in the process so now, plug this in. Gotta figure out. I think this one here is ground. 
Yep, this is ground. And this should be positive. And it's set, my power supply is set to three volts. We have projectors lighting up. These two things are lighting up. What we don't have is any of the clock circuitry running because there's no 1.5 volts. So I'm gonna cheat and just use the battery for that. see anything because there's no polarizer. Alright, you see how that's that way? Flip it around. Now it's hard to see because there's light on it. Or it can't get pushed down equally. So that's what it's going to be. So let's put it back together. through the one that's supposed to be there, which I think I did. Shit. Let's see, as long as it doesn't affect the screen, I don't really care. Uh, where it is? Here it is. Could be brighter. Now you can't see that. This, oh, here it is. Boop. You see that? Although it could be a little bit brighter. And I'm noticing on camera it's not very bright, but actually in regular, in real life, it, it looks uh, looks like an LED clock actually. <laughs> 